Smoothing techniques are ideal when the time series has no trend or seasonal fluctuations. But when the time series does have these artifacts, the linear trend model is often a better choice. The linear trend model is a linear regression model that uses time as the predictor variable. The linear trend model comes with a few assumptions. First, the time series is expected to grow by a fixed amount during each time period. And second, the time series does not exhibit season variations or has been stripped of its seasonal variation or deseasonalized. So let's consider weekly sales in dollars at an organic food store. This example uses the organic data set. In our evaluation, let's visually inspect the time series to confirm the existence of a trend, estimate and interpret the linear trend model for sales, and forecast the sales for the next four weeks. A scatter plot is a good place to start to evaluate whether or not there seems to be a time series relationship. Here we plot the time on an x-axis and sales on the y-axis and we generally see a positive trend. So we're off to a good start. This seems like a good fit for a linear time series model. We can use a simple linear regression model to estimate the relationship and trend between sales and week. We're trying to predict sales using time, which is given in weeks in this scenario. We can interpret the equation to mean that each week sales increase by about $97. The data set covers 52 weeks. So to predict sales in week 53, 53 is multiplied by the coefficient for week and added to the intercept for an estimate of $7,130.66. The same approach can predict outcomes in weeks 54, 55, 56, and so on. With season-related data, we estimate a trend regression model that includes dummy variables to capture seasonal variations. For example, if we're working with quarterly data, a linear trend model with seasonal dummy variables is illustrated where D1, D2, and D3 are the dummy variables illustrating the first three quarters. And if the values for these dummy variables are all zero, the model knows the observation must then be related to the fourth quarter. So let's consider the e-commerce data set. Let's inspect the data to confirm there's trend in seasonality, Estimate and interpret the linear trend model with seasonal dummy variables for e-commerce retail sales and forecast e-commerce retail sales for the last three quarters of 2019. Here we see the orange dots plotted at the intersection of sales in each quarter. We see an overall trend of sales increasing and we also see a peak every fourth quarter. This data clearly features both trend and seasonality. And it sounds like my old buddy Marvin is getting into trouble while I'm trying to record a lecture. I love my cats, but sometimes they make poor choices. Carrying on, after we run such a regression model predicting sales with the dummy variables for quarter and time for trend, we find relative to the fourth quarter, e-commerce sales are about $22,000 lower in the other quarters. We can use the model to predict values just like any other regression model we've had experience with. 
There are also specific packages and tools within R that can help support forecasting. And there's another video that walks through how to do this work specifically in R and R Studio. Catch you next time.